All right, so here's the set. Here's the tablet uh, keyboard. I really didn't like the original Wacom keyboard. I got rid of it. This is so much better, and it's backlit, so you can see when you work in the, in the dark. This stand has three uh, positions. I usually use the lowest one for sketching. It also has padded um, pads here, not to scuff up the tablet, and one over here as well. So, pretty nice stand. Uh, very portable. The tablet itself is here. Very nice and clean. Um, obviously, I mean you're gonna have some. It's hard to tell, but some areas. I mean, as you sketch, I mean, depending on the nib you use, you'll see some traces. But then it wipes off. But that pretty nice matte surface here. That let's focus. That as you can hear, kind of has that somewhat paper texture feel to it. So it's it's really nice. It's not that slick, slippery, sliding on the glass tablet surface so it has that um, texture. Also you can replace some of the nibs. I bought more of um, aggressive nibs that kind of actually give it more of a paper feel to it um, depending on the kind of work you do. But uh, tablet's really nice and clean. These are your three charging ports. Doesn't matter which one you use for charging. They all will charge the tablet. Exhaust fans here. Um, this tablet doesn't really run really loud, so I never had any issues with it. Camera I never really used. It has these nice um, rubberized grip areas here for you to grab a hold of them. Again, it's in the sleep mode right now. Never use this port either here. Your volume buttons. I never really, really use it to listen to music or anything like that, so I always use my headphones. Now this here, I have no idea how this happened, probably my backpack, uh, when I set my backpack down or something, I have no idea. This tablet has never been dropped uh, on a concrete or pavement or anything like that, so this uh, to me is kind of a mystery how this happened, um, usually from storage or something in my backpack. But other than that, I mean, it's uh, very clean everywhere. And there's your uh, buttons here. I'm not a big express uh, button guy, so I like to use a keyboard for me. It's a lot faster, so I'll show you like the pairing. Let's see where the button is. To turn it on real quick, you wait for it to power it on. Sometimes it powers on faster when you plug it in on the on the USB Type C. But there's your battery levels, Wi-Fi. I like to use this pen better uh, than the Pro Pen. It's actually in the storage. Uh, it just feels much better in my hand because it feels like a pencil. Uh, it's a little bit thinner, um, not as fat as the other one. So it has a little wear on it, but still has very good grip. So I'm gonna leave this uh, Sketchbook Pro. Usually, what I use to sketch with. So I'm gonna leave that for you, so you can try different things if you like it and type C as I said it doesn't matter which port you plug it in okay so the keyboard now it's it's not synced yet but it's super fast as soon as you turn it on you'll see it syncing and there you go it's, it's already synced up so when you press let's try this again you power this off you power it on. Let's see how fast it's gonna sync. Turn it on. Boom. See, I'm almost immediate. And like I said, it's backlit, so when you work in a dark room, it's nice to see what buttons you're pressing. I don't like the Wacom keyboard, so I got rid of it. This is pretty nice and stretchable, so you can put chargers or whatever you have in there, and uh, this thing just keep, keeps on expanding, and it's really nice and soft on the inside, so it keeps the tablet protected pretty well. Um, let's see, what else can we test on this? We can do a new layer here. Let me do a bucket of uh, black paint. I, mean, I don't know, some people check this, but I've never understood this test. See, let's do white. It's hard to, to see anything right now in daytime daylight, but pressure is really good. I 
I am using a pencil right now. Let's make it bigger. Yeah. Well, that's pretty that's pretty much it. I never had any issues with the tablet. Works pretty well. Uh response is really good. Colors are really good. Um pretty much uh, really close to what they are um to reality. You don't I don't think you have to calibrate or anything like that. But you can. That's a safe measure. So I'm gonna leave Photoshop, um Sketchbook Pro on there for you, as well with uh Word, Excel and PowerPoint. So you need to use that it'll be on there um, that's pretty much the, everything else has been reset to factory settings so you should be good to go and I'll go for the box let's show you what's inside real quick so I mean you're gonna have your I'll put everything back neatly here but you're gonna have your pro pen here it's already closed in there with with a lot of new nibs I've never used them again. Like I pretty much never use this pen. It's really nice. It's really to your preference, whatever which one you prefer. But I prefer the more slimmer one. It just feels much better for me. It feels more nat like a natural pencil than the thicker one. But you're gonna have it as well as the nibs I was talking about. They have a little bit rubberized um, points on them, so it kind of gives you that little more traction. So you'll feel that. Um, it feels more like paper, pencil and paper. So that should work quite well for you. And this pen stand, I never used it, but um, it's in there. So I hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. But other than that, I mean, I don't, there's nothing really to tell you about it because there's no issues. I never had any issues. It works real well. And um, like I said, you could do pretty nice artwork with it yeah